Good morning, it's MJ, the creator of the Crow Tarot and the Wise Dog Tarot. And I'm currently working on the Grimalkin Tarot, which is the cat deck. And I am so excited about this deck. Um, I was stayed up until about 1.30 this morning working and finishing the Lover's card. And I think that is by far, I mean, like that one is my favorite so far. Um, yeah, I, had, I saw somebody posted that it reminded them of the two Fridas, and that is exactly my inspiration for that card. So Frida is my, I, I feel like she's one of my guides. Um, I just, I worship her. <clears throat> anyway, let's get started with today's reading. And this is a general reading for the collective using the wise dog. And it is Wednesday, August 21st. So let's see what these pups bring to us. And the first card I'm going to pull is our current situation. It's that energy that is swirling around us at this time. And here we have the three of swords. And this one is also, interestingly enough, um, was inspired by Frida. Um, a lot of my work is inspired by Frida. <clears throat> I feel like she's channeling through me some days. So... This is a time where we are in a place of perhaps experiencing um, a separation, right? We're, we're cutting the cord, and although that's painful, uh, we're going to enter a time of healing, and from that healing, we will find our strength. So these three swords, if you think about, there's the action, right, that happens to us, there's how we react to it, and then what happens out of that reaction. So we are in this place now where we can heal, we can move on, um, perhaps take a learning. I mean, for, I, like for me, I know exactly what this card is um, and it's a learning lesson for sure. And it's painful, it's very, you know, there is a sadness there. The external influence that is coming to us as a result here of this time. Look at this. Knowing your truth, speaking your truth, standing up for yourself. The Page of Swords is gonna come in and it's going to help you. This energy is going to come in and you're going to feel empowered, perhaps, to stand up and say, hey, this isn't right, right? I, I'm ready to move on. I know my value. I know what I add. And if this energy here is not, um, if you need to cut the cord because someone or something isn't honoring your value, then this is a time for you to take action and allow healing to happen and grow stronger from this experience. And I feel like this page of swords is gonna come through and help you. So let's see what advice these pups bring. Ah, the hermit, okay. <sighs> First of all, one thing I want to notice when I this reading is how crisp it looks. You know, like one of the things, um, aside from all the symbolism, is how the cards themselves look. Like sometimes we get a, a, a reading and all the colors are really dark, right? And you go, ooh, something is very foreboding. Sometimes we have a lot of gold hues and everything seems very uplifted. Because right now I'm seeing like, there's such a crispness to these colors here. It's telling me that this is going to be a clean break. Whatever this is, it's going to be um, something that's very cut and dry. And so it's not, there isn't going to be this like meandering back and forth. It's going to be, this is the way it is. And unfortunately, it, the, you know, it may not be, uh, you know, what, is ideal or what you had hoped, but it is what it is. So here with this three of swords, as I had mentioned, we have here the action that's being taken. Okay, this is 
something that may you may have um you know an impact on you may not this may be somebody themselves saying i'm you know we're we're not compatible we're, this isn't working um and then the reaction that you take is going to impact your healing are you know are you going to allow this to fester you know are you going to allow your emotions to steep right because that kind of just keeps the wound open so here i see like this page of swords is coming in and I feel like this is where you're going to be able to acknowledge the events around this three of swords stand up for yourself don't let anybody bulldoze over you and know that you're speaking truth to power right know that you're you're standing up to those perhaps who have become a bit jaded or soulless these white trees in the and the distance here point to you know this idea of like a deadened tree you know like when something has run its course and it or it's become so just lifeless right it no longer finds joy it no longer produces leaves um that's what i see here with this page of swords and now you're ready to walk down that path separate them you know walk walk between them and say nope this is not this is not for me i see my future up here it is bright. I have the strength I need to make it past this time, to make it through whatever situation this is that's requiring you to stand up tall and speak your voice. So, these two are definitely, definitely connected here in that whatever event this is, use that, pay, use that sword here to make it a clean cut. The hermit comes in at, in the advice position, and this is very, I mean, per, it's perfect because this is what you're going to need right now. This is what you're going to need to heal, and this is what you're going to need to really kind of figure out the next step so that when you do begin the healing process, once you've made this cut with the energy of the Page of Swords, once you've stood up and you said, no, 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 this isn't right, um, you're going to need time to reflect and plan your next move. So allow that download from the universe to come in because it will be there. You know, if you, if you think about like just getting away from, from it all, so that you can connect to your spirit. I mean, that's that's the best way to get a clear message, right? I mean, imagine if you're like at a big stadium, right? That's what I kind of feel like our life is. Like we're in this giant stadium, and we just have we just have all this distraction all around us. There's like stuff that you know we're being our attention is being drawn to at the center. There's a crowd around us. Somebody's always hooting and hollering, and you're trying to have a conversation with that that person next to you, right? It's really hard. It's, sometimes it's hard to, to hear what they're saying. However, if you go out into nature and it's just the two of you, you can have a conversation. Well, that's how I feel, it, you know, how it relates to, relates to spirit. Our world, our regular day-to-day -day life is like being in a giant stadium where we're just like bombarded with with um, with interactions and voices and, you know, um, just all the stimulus and it's not until you get out into nature that you can actually have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with your higher self and so that's the vibe i'm getting here is that get out get once this is all settled and you know the dust is sort of cleared a bit take some time to regroup and allow for that download because it will come okay and much love i hope this reading makes sense i'll tell you what you, you guys have no idea what's going on behind the scenes here. <laughs> that this makes a whole hell of a sense, a lot of sense to me this morning. So I get it. Thank you. Thank you, pups, for coming through. I have to say, like the crow deck, this dog deck, it, it, it hits the nail almost like on the head a lot of the times for me. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's... But anyway, 
Much, much, much love to you and bye for now. I'll see you tomorrow.